Hey, hey, Spirit Tribe, Gigi here with Spirit Readings, and I'm so glad and so happy that you're able to join me here today for the messages for Saturday, December 23rd. We have two Crystal Visions to row. We have one Sixth Sense Connection Oracle, we have one Star Seeds Oracle, and we have one Star Seeds Mini Message here. So please keep in mind that there are so many of us, so not everything may resonate. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. We just set it to the side for someone else or for later even. You know, if it doesn't apply, we just go on ahead and we let her fly and and we don't get too fixated on the date. You know, I'm a firm believer that whenever you come across this is when you are meant to. And there's most likely a message for you here. So let's see what we got going on today. Okay, so we do have the tower coming in here. And I know for a lot of people, like, the tower just like, oh my god, no, 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 GG, I do not want the tower. But, you know, for me, I'm like, all right, tower, you know, let's, let's release these things. You know, there's beauty in letting go and... You know, when we build things on a foundation that is not solid and steady, you know, it, it's going to crumble, you guys, you know, whether it's business or romance or where wherever it is, right? Um, if it's not handled with care and built to last, you know, eventually it's going to come crumbling down and you know what? Go ahead. Crumble on down. I am like a phoenix. I rise from the ashes. So I'm not worried about this tower crumbling. You know, I mean, I'm not just going to sit in my ivory tower all my life, right? No, no. But it also gives us a chance to get back to that foundation, you guys, and to look at it a little more carefully and be like, okay, this is where I can make some changes and this is where I can correct things and, you know, learn from this. And the next foundation I build is going to be even better. You know, this, this crumbled for a reason and I take responsibility for my part in it, you know, and it's an opportunity for me to learn and grow and gain insight and wisdom and, you know, some towers we get right, right off the bat, right? And others may take us a few times, you know, trial and error, right? And um, it's okay, you guys, you know. Um, you know, sometimes chaos comes in here and just levels things out because, you know, oftentimes our intuition will tell us uh, we need to get out of this situation or, or leave this person behind and we're just like, nah don't want to and then eventually the universe is like all right you know I try to be nice I try to be kind so woo saw now you know you have no choice <laughs> in the matter um I'm done playing games with you so just all kinds of calamities right because you didn't want to listen and I think we've all been there but you know, this is clearing the clutter. It's clearing things out so that better, 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 okay? So that better can come in. The Ten of Cups, this is your happily ever after, however that looks to you, you know? So maybe around your relationships, you know, and not just romantic, you know, because she's here with her whole family, you guys, you know? and um loving and supportive and you know what is it that you truly desire what is it that you truly want you guys and 
what is it that you have to let go of and clear out in order to get to this point? You know, it's worth it in the end, you guys, you know, um, so don't, don't fear that tower falling, you know, it's, it's going to be a good thing and a, like a blessing in disguise, literally. Yes. Thank you, spirit. And we also have forgiveness coming in here. And I absolutely love this, you know, all of this blue for me, it's like the throat chakra, you know, when we speak that forgiveness into existence, you know, whether we're forgiving ourselves or, or other people or even situations, you guys, it clears that throat chakra out of there. And not only that, but it brings peace and it brings harmony and it brings balance. It restores all of that, you guys. And, you know, then you learn that you can trust yourself and your relationships and your decisions, right? And, and your intuition, you know, I mean, if we just listen from the get go, you guys, so much could be avoided, but you know, we have that free will, we have choice. And, you know, if we don't like a choice, we have the power to go back and choose, differently you know um sometimes we got to make those mistakes and fail and fall you know a failure is just a uh, leading to victory you know i mean that's the way i choose to look at it so it's all in our perspective as well so we do have the star keeper cosmic ancestor ooh seed the light by staying grounded yes you guys you know check in with our root system check in you guys with yourself be in tune with your star player you know it's very vital it's very important it's so crucial you guys and you know to go from here to here you know, it's probably not a straight line, you guys. I know definitely for me, it hasn't been. And, you know, when our desires and our wishes come in, celebrate them, no matter how small they are, you know, that's, that tells the universe, I want more of this and less of this. <laughs> Although I am grateful that this happened. I want more of this and less of that. <laughs> All right. And we have channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Yes, you guys, you know, when we work that forgiveness and we heal our own selves and we forgive our own selves and we love our own selves, you know, wherever it is that we're at. You know, accepting, loving, being kind, being gentle, you know, that's a whole vibe. And that vibe goes out into the universe, you guys, and it picks up steam as it goes out and it touches other people and it comes back to us. And it's so beautiful, wonderful and amazing to know that when you raise your own vibe, you raise the vibe of your tribe and you know, you're a member in their tribe and they have a tribe and it keeps going, you guys. And I just think it's such a cosmic, beautiful, wonderful, amazing thing. And the world, oh, excuse me, the world definitely needs more healing. You know, um, the whole collective could use that healing energy you guys send that out send positivity send love send good vibes and good thoughts okay wow all right you guys i love this um these are our messages for the day um if you enjoyed them 
and you would like to see more like this, please leave me a comment and let me know. You guys, I love hearing from you. Don't forget to smash the heck out of that like button, you know, that old thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't already and you find you keep coming back here, please subscribe. I would love to have you become a part of this beautiful, wonderful, amazing Spirit Tribe family. Make a wish. Yes, I hope we all have such an amazing day you guys and we're getting closer to Christmas and I just want to say happy holidays I hope that it is merry and bright for you um, from the bottom of my heart to the tippity top I love and appreciate each and every single one of you and I want to say thank you blessed be namaste and goodbye <laughs>